Oh, nice setting. Nice backdrop. Do, 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 do. Dave Buchanan. Okay. It's not a show until Dave joins. Dave joined. I just got a text and looked over at my iPad, which is right beside me, and I got Where is the Live button from John Scott. He's big. Not sure how smart he's going to be. It's an amazing story, John. Um, his st life story is going to be a movie. So while he tries to find it, I'll ramble on here for a couple of seconds. Um, last week, gosh, Canadians just signed a guy today, Joel Edinson. Uh, they picked him up in Carolina, and they brought, they got the rights to try and uh, reserve the rights to sign him as the only team. And they signed him to a four-year, th just over $3.5 uh, million dollar contract. Do I like the signing? Last week, I had my buddy Tony Marinaro come on, and uh, we discussed the Montreal Canadiens. I think I, I, I went off the... I don't ask me what happened to me. I just ended up going completely on Carey Price for some reason, which I didn't mean to, but it just kind of happened. Uh, and the Canadians have way more problems than Carey Price. It was just kind of the salary cap to sign the goalie for Jake Allen for $4.5 million, and I just kind of went. So I apologize for that. But they signed a guy today. And uh, do I like the signing? We'll be doing more with Tony in time. Ah, oh, there he is. There's big... There he's... That's what we're going to be doing a little bit moving forward, especially as the season wraps up and drafts are coming and they sign more players. Do I like the signing? Nah. You don't need to be that close. You don't need to be that close. And how, I, how does this back up? I didn't give your intro yet. I didn't oh. really – I was just worried I was going to lose you. <clears throat> no, I'm here. Okay, anyways, I had this whole thing I was going to go on about. You know, he's six foot eight. That You know, there's two – Five goal scorers in the history of the game. One's really tall. One's really good looking. We're both on this show at the same time. I was going <laughs> to say he has six beautiful daughters. I was going to say he's got lots of charity. does a lot of charity work. Big guy with a big heart. I was going to oh. talk about your podcast, uh, Dropping Gloves. He's got a book out. Um, but we're going to talk about in a few minutes one of the craziest stories. Uh, <clears throat> crazy stories. Anyways, big guy, humble. Um, <laughs> and... I called him before and I said, I ta what are you doing? He's like, I'm putting my kids down. You have six. Yeah. It takes a long time to put six kids to bed. So it, it takes a good half an hour to get them all down and keep them down. So that's what I was up to. And I just uh, hammer, so ate, ate a whole lasagna and here we are. How many, uh, do, do you know all their names? My kids? Yes, I do. Yeah. Ava, Gabriella, Estelle, Sophia, Lillian, and Eleanor is the newest addition. So, so, and you gotta update your your wiki page because it says it has five. Yeah, five. I don't touch that. Do you, see, I, you do that with yours. I, no. you update yours. Yeah. No. And by the way, that. I don't yeah. have a pet gerbil named Richard Gear. Just for anybody, <laughs> I do not touch that. I don't know how people touch it. Uh, but anyways, thanks for joining, good guy. And I know you got a ton going on. You did your podcast, which is out. People can get that. You shoot it Tuesday night, but it's out Wednesday. Sun out today. Yeah, we do it three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, dropping the gloves with John Scott. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We got some really great guests. You know, we've had, like, Joe Pavelski's been on there lately. We've had Kaner. Patrick Sharp's been on there. You know, some good names. We'll get P.J. Stock one of these days. Whoa. Baby steps. You know, I think <laughs> we both play with Patrick Sharp, and I think – is he not – Kevin BX is doing an amazing job on Sportsnet in Canada. Uh, Patrick Sharp, mm -hmm. I think, has been a great addition to TV in the States. Oh, he nails it. He well, he has the look, right? And he he's so good. He really, really is good. I you see these guys come on and they they try it, and most of them like they strike out. They're not good, but he he's going to be there for years as long as he wants to. He's so so well versed, and he's just really really. He looks great up there. Like I couldn't do it. I don't have. You couldn't look. do it because of your face. Mm -hmm. No, honestly, yeah, I'm not good looking. <laughs> I'm the first to admit it. So like I can talk, but it's just this. Not, it's no, just no bueno. There's a lot of makeup. No. Do you watch? Are you watching Sharpie's, the games? Sharpie's beautiful. Yeah, I keep up with the podcast and stuff. Like, I got to know what's going on. It's hard. Like last yeah. night, I fell asleep at 9 p.m. and everyone's like, "What'd you think of the game?" I was like, "I, I was, I was out cold. I, I didn't, I didn't see so, any." So it's 
Well, how about this? John and I do some events. We travel, uh, some great stuff. Um, Andrew Jackson company, we do stuff for Hockey for the Homeless. We do some Martin Stroke Foundation stuff. Uh, a lot of great events. And John's at a bunch of those things as well. And we, we all sit around and we get together. We all start talking about, you know, a lot of our conversations go back to hockey and stuff. It's, it, it's the conference final. It was hard to watch. Like, Islanders had 24 shots in five periods of hockey. That's that's sad, yeah. Like 24. Well, and I've noticed power plays. I've noticed that there's no animosity, there's no hatred, there's no jam in anybody's game, and I don't know if it's because they're staying in the same hotel and they see each other every day, or if that's just the state of the game. Like, what? Who on either of those teams is an agitator or a hitter or a guy who scares you? Well, like, Mike Martin plays that role a little, but Mike yeah. is a great Mike's for the Islanders for those that are asking, but doesn't really do it because I mean I was actually funny it's like one of the for those that don't know there's gonna we'll, we'll talk about some stuff about John's career but there's a funny moment uh, John's played for many wild Blackhawks but we're gonna get to a Hab story in a little bit in Arizona Sharks Sabres and Rangers it's a lot of track suits <laughs> my closets are full I don't know what to do with all this stuff no but one of the uh you were in Buffalo when he slashed you, right, Phil Kessel? Yes. Yep. Like yep. you, you have to YouTube this moment for people that haven't seen it. John six eight. Is it six seven and a half? Or is it six it's eight? Like six eight and three quarters. No big deal. I'm five ten and one eighth. Five ten one eighth. Like five ten and a half. Five ten and a half. Like five eleven. Five eleven. Six foot. You're six foot. Give or take. Imagine yeah. if I had your reach, I'd have six goals. You might have had six. Just imagine a million. You'd be a millionaire right now. You wouldn't be doing this. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, that was in Buffalo. That was a preseason game where. No, I just I... got to set the table. I, hold okay. on, before you do, because you got to take it over, because you're going to be too nice about it. Uh, you're six, eight, and three quarters. And off the faceoff, John comes out and says what he says. And John could have absolutely killed this guy. And everyone in the world went like crazy. How nice were you on that play? Well, you, you didn't set the table. There's there's a backstory to this where it was preseason and they dressed some tough guys. And so I was the only guy in my team who could handle myself. So I told their team, I said, if you guys want to fight, you know where to find me. Like, I'm not going anywhere. And um, one of their big guys grabbed one of our small guys, Corey Tropp, and really worked him over. And so I was fuming when they were kind of getting Corey off the ice. And so I went over to their bench and they had Randy Carlisle at the time. I said, Randy – Whoever you put out, I'm going to beat their doors off in not so eloquent terms. And so he kind of gave me a look. I went out there. We were the away team, so we got to go out first. And he puts out Kessel. And he kind of gives me this little grin. I'm like, oh, man, like, what am I going to do? And I'm a man of my word. So I told my centerman, I said, hey, heads up. I'm going to jump Phil real quick. And he kind of gives me the look. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to jump Phil. And Phil lined up next to me. And I, I said, Phil, I, I have to jump you. I'm sorry. And he kind of looks at me again, and the puck dropped, and I shed my mitts, and I missed him. If I would have grabbed him, that would have been a different story, but I, I just missed the grab. Oh, and... I was trying to defend you. You actually tried to hurt him. I tried to grab him, yeah. I would have I would have given him one down the down What's the matter with you? Here I am, a humble, nice guy. What's the matter? You were actually going to hit him? I would have gave him one down the, down the pipe, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the game's missing out a little bit today. Why? It's it's preseason, and their coach challenged me, and I, I called his bluff. If it's funny, after that, Brendan Shanahan called me. He was the the czar, the the player safety guy. He called me. He's like, John, we got to talk. He's like, I want to suspend you, but I can't because you didn't do anything. I'm like, so why are we talking? He's like, just let you know, I'm watching you. So for the whole, he suspended me three times that year for like questionable things. I'm like, son of a gun. So <laughs> it's fine. Go through. Uh, I, I don't want to read read the list of the teams uh, if that's okay with you. But um, do we have enough small, time? Well, I I got like an hour on this thing. How? Uh, which was your favorite? I really enjoyed Chicago. Honestly, it, it was, uh, and then San Jose. I think those two teams. It was a good group of guys, and uh, I just enjoyed. Well, the Hawks, we were the, the cock of the walk in Chicago where we right. just kind of had the run of the town. And then in San Jose, it was just a good group of guys. We were all at a later stage of our career. We had families. We had wives. And we really gelled. Like, I'm still really good friends with most of those guys. So those two teams were 
You, were uh, you, you mentioned the families. You have six kids. Uh, did the young, I know, I think you just had twins at the All-Star game. Right after, two days after the All-Star game, I had the twins, yeah. Yeah, the twins. So do, how, does the oldest ever remember seeing you play? Oh, yeah, the two oldest. Well, they just, it's funny, every time I go and play hockey, they assume I'm coming home with a trophy because they just, they just think of the All-Star game. It's right. like their memory. And then I've done a couple of charity things they've come to, and I've always won the tournaments, and I leave with, like, a trophy or something. Or Are you done? Is this is this a two-two? Like, <laughs> you're, you're – And so like they're gonna, like, are you going to come home with a car or a big check or a trophy yeah. or anything? So, well, I guess – I feel expect? like in your head, too. I, maybe I go in like this would be the same. Like, how much, how close are you to that thing? Well, like, where do you want – where's your I phone? I don't know, but we can just do it like this. How, Where's your phone? I don't my know. My phone's in front of me, but I'm not like, it? this close. How's my, how's my beard? There. Is that better? I don't know how this works. What's the guitar for? I won it at the All-Star game. Oh, here we go. Okay. Bro. <laughs> here. <laughs> Hold on. What do I have down here? Do you? Here. I, I wore these gloves in Hartford in There's the American that. Hockey League. Uh, and then someone made me a bobblehead that has my face on it. I got this at a, at a golf tournament. And then here's my all-star gloves. This is oh. my, first, my first game. I and caught this, this fish. My, I my, caught this fish fishing. My first goal puck with Buffalo. Oh, I got those too. I got a bunch of them. You only had five. Don't get too, don't get too carried away. You I were good didn't... until the goal thing. The you Sabres were good until did the goal that. thing. I didn't frame that. That was the Sabres did that for me. That wasn't me. Well, I mean, oh, mine stuck to the wall. Anyways, I lit up the Panthers, but that's the story for another day. I don't want to get into that. My boy Gretz over there says hi. Hey, Wayne. Is that, is that Brent? Hey, Brent. It's Wayner. Oh, Wayner, I go way back. You remind me of his brother, Brent. Good looking. Five goals for the National Hockey League. Just riding the coattails of greater men. Well, I'll take that. I'll take that all the way to the bank. I'll did do you, that forever. Did you see all, like, there's all these trivia things. It's like, what set of brothers has have the, the most, most points ever? Most points in the history of the National Hockey League. The Gretzky you know. brothers. <laughs> That's funny. So, uh, before we, I just want to give your family some love because I know you got the six kids and I'm really impressed you know all their names. Do any of them have a favorite team? Um, they liked Arizona because the howl after we scored to go, oh, so they liked that one. But they, but, they never – I don't think you scored in Arizona, did you? You know what I mean? No. No. I played on eight teams. I scored five goals, and I scored three of them in San Jose. So I didn't <laughs> score on six teams, I think. So. <laughs> I feel, and you know what? We just played with bad guys. Like, it's not – that you can't – Hey, you go play with some good guys. I played one ship with Joe Thornton and Glenn Murray on the power play. Goal. One ship, one goal. I never got that ship again. That was it. One ship, one goal. Power play. And then they yeah. put me back with, you know, I play with Darren Langdon or, or I, I don't know. Langer out in Newfoundland right now was all mad at me because he's going to be mad at you too because you're about to say not so many great things about Newfoundland because the weather, I heard you loved it out there in the winter. Um, okay. All six kids, I'm impressed. Your last team was the Canadians. Do you actually, do you follow the signing today, Joel Edmondson? Who did they sign? Joel Edmondson, Carolina. They, he's six foot three. Oh, left Edmondson, team. Joel Edmondson. They just traded for him. Yeah, yeah. They traded for his rights. They signed um, three point, just over 3.5 depth. But I mean, it just. What's the uh, term? How long? Four years with no. No, no, it's not a no movement clause. He's allowed to pick 10 teams, I think. So, anyways. Is this, uh, hold on, Nick, Nick. No, I'm not a Wings fan. I, I don't like the Wings at all. Yeah, actually, so I'm going to ask John a question. I, actually, before we get into him being the great story and how great, I can keep showing you pictures, by the way. I can, I got a bunch of them. I caught any other fish? Uh, I don't. Um, I don't have any other stuff in my house other than this little corner. I don't need that affirmation that apparently I do. you do. I like yeah. it. Yeah. This. Hey, I was. I, I saw you have a sauna. That's exciting. Oh. That's so good. I stay lean and mean. 
And then, yeah, do you, did you just get that bad boy? Uh, no, I've had it for a little bit. It's actually one of my favorite things. I know. You're, I got I got one here too. I never it broke a couple of years back, but I really enjoy it when it was you, gone. Well, get off your wallet and get no. your, sell the guitar. Sell no. the guitar. That's probably 140 bucks. Sell the guitar and you can go get your maybe those gloves. There's a lot of hockey left in those gloves. Hey Bernie, hey, Bernie just asked what I'm doing work wise. Um I I am a part-time guy at an engineering firm because I got my engineering degree so I kind of go in there part-time and then I just do charity events they throw some money your way and then I do my podcast I make a little money off that and then the movie's coming out so I still get money for that um I would beat PJ in a fight Wade Wade, without a doubt. Hey, Wade you're saying FX let him just say that but you know no you saw Kessel almost took him and I was actually <laughs> trying to defend you I was trying to say now you're humble you're good you didn't want to go in like, I, I, I'm a little nervous about your reach now. If you couldn't grab Kessel and you're lunging and he's stepping back and he's got his right hand down, how do you miss grabbing him right here when you're looking at He backed up. Watch the video. He backed I up. I did. No, how watch slow it. can you be? My your podcast, arms are eight feet. Mama laughs. My podcast is called Dropping the Gloves with John Scott. Um, my girls skate. They don't play hockey. I'm going to take this over, PJ. Sorry. It's okay. I'm having a drink. I'm going to take a sauna. Um... I am a Pearl Jam fan. Chili Peppers, not really. Um, what's your favorite town to play in? It's funny. My favorite town, I like playing in the towns where you took a lot of heat. So Philadelphia was my favorite. I remember um, one game I got a beer dumped on me, a cup of chew dumped on me. So I just really, really liked it. Oh, the Colt Nor fight. Okay, no. so oh, I lost on. two fights in the NHL. Oh, what's that? Are we not showing goals? Oh, no, we're, we're done with the goals? So when I... I was in Toronto, and this was this was after the Kessel thing, I think. And Colton asked me to fight, and I was like, "Sure, I, I wanted to fight him." And um, we traded a couple, and I was about to—I I, I think I was getting the upper hand. Oh, are you playing for the Jolly Pumpkin this year? Is that guy from Traverse City? Well, you stick Miller. to one question. Oh, sorry. So we were trading, and I started to get the upper hand on him. I was like, "Okay, here we go." He's—he's he's tired out a little bit. My reaches, I got him locked out. Then he threw a body shot and just dropped me. Do you know when you? I don't know if you ever experienced this. Do you ever get hit in the stomach where you can't breathe? Like the yeah, air just gets a different stuck. though. We're built differently. You're kind of built like more like for. Remember the old milk bags, people. Uh, John was like a six foot eight and three quarter milk bag. So yes. you know, you, you like it's a, get a sauna. Fact. Just get a sauna. I don't. Fix I have everything. one. It's right. Oh, mine's inside. It's don't broken. Sell the guitar. But uh, we, uh, God rest his soul. I fought uh, Wade Belak one night and. Uh, where the guys on uh, that I'm playing with are like, no one ever throws body blow, body punches. And remember that old video game, Blades of Glory, when you could throw, Blades of Steel, you can throw uppercuts, and when you throw, you can throw body blows, and go body blow, body blow. Mm -hmm. So one night they uh, asked me to, this is what's great about superstar players. They're like, PJ, do you mind going up and getting beat up for us? But I want you to throw just body blow shots to make no. us laugh. Really? Yeah. yeah. So it was against Wade Belak, and here I am punching him in the stomach so my teammates can laugh, and, and big, strong Wade is just punching me in the head. He was a big dude. He was a big dude. Great dude. To, did you, that dude. Did your um, star guys ever take you out for dinner or give you any, like – Yeah. That's the best thing about being a fourth-line player, I think. If my first couple years, uh, I'm Adam Graves, Kevin Stevens, uh, obviously Wayne uh, – we had some. I was on a. I started with the New York Rangers. We only had five guys in our twenties. Uh, it was. We were an older team. Um, they were awesome. This is pre salary cap, so a oh, lot so of them they were making, the end of the yeah. careers made a lot of money. They were. And then Rick Tockett, uh, Johnny LeClaire. There were so many great players that I played with, and they knew that, you know, prior to salary cap, the minor league salary was well, not a ton. No, it was like thirty grand, right, or something. It was. In, I made thirty grand in the American Hockey League, and three hundred in the NHL. So, but for everyone listening, you're paid divided by the amount of days. So there was one hundred and ninety. I'm, I'm going to forget this. Ninety two or ninety seven days in the season. So every day that you're up, it's one one hundred ninety. We'll say seventh of your salary, and in the in your minors, it's one one hundred ninety seventh of your thirty grand. So you're making a hundred dollars a day for six months. Or a thousand dollars a day. Uh, I was in, in New York. They used to back then. They give checks. This is before your time, John. Yes. You know, uh, yes. Fact. Before your time. 
they come out and they, they put a check in your stall. And uh, I was making 300000 Wayne was making $6 million. And they used to have these, uh, these. I think they probably still have them in locker rooms. They're just cleaner. In boiling water, they have these hot packs. And mm -hmm. you take them and those, yeah. wrap them around. They still have them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, you, you put a strap thing around your back for wherever you're hurrying to warm yourself up. And anyways, I was a, the youngest guy on the team living in a hotel. So I'd spend the entire day at, at the practice rink. And I'd go around and take guys checks. And I'd steam them open to see who was making what. And how, the internet was out, but you couldn't really, you couldn't find any of that information out. Gretz cleared more in one week than I did without paying taxes the entire year. Yeah, yeah, he 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 deserved it. What do you mean he deserved it? Yeah, I well, I had that same thing in Minnesota where we we got some guys got paid with checks. The Europeans did, and Gabrick would just have his in his bag. Yeah. And he would never deposit them. I'm like, Gabby, what do you what do you make there? And each check was, yeah, like two hundred seventy five thousand dollars. Thousand dollars every two weeks. I was like, what is going yeah, on? Gretz, Gretz what was, uh, Gretz was, I think, three hundred grand every two weeks. It's not bad. It's not bad. No, but I mean, there's taxes and, yeah, and I mean, you know, it's it's a lot. gas in New York. Gas in New York is is like uh, crazy. Um, okay, you guys are gonna want to ask questions. It's an, I don't want it to keep him forever because I, we've already heard about how great he was and he hasn't even got to the great part of the story yet. So one of the coolest stories ever, and there's so many twists and turns to it, uh, and I'll let him – I didn't set the table well enough before. Let me try and set this one a little bit better. You're doing uh, a great job, PJ. Thank you. So uh, a couple of guys uh, – Roy Fitzpatrick got in the NHL All-Star game <clears> – <throat> Uh, 2008, I think, was the year. And uh, this year, a couple guys, one was Jeff Merrick and uh, – I'm forgetting the other guy. Uh, Greg Scott, Wyshynski. Wyshynski, Wyshynski, yes. They had a little podcast, and they're like, well, let's get someone in who people love, and they don't score, and they get overlooked because they don't get points. And they started going through the fighters, and they started going through thoughts, and they're like – I let's. I love John Scott. He's got 18 tracksuits. You know how hard it is to travel with 18 tracksuits. It's not so, easy. So they started on pushing the John Scott thing, and John, it, it became a cult following thing. It got it. It had a life of its own. It got bigger and bigger. And the way it works is, uh, imagine there's two conferences, uh, two conferences, four uh, divisions, and each highest ranked player, vote wise, from each division was the captain. He was the only person that was voted in. The rest of the people were all kind of picked by, they try and get everybody in. So uh, John was, I, I think he won everyone. Like you were the highest, per, were you the highest person, period? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so John was the highest per person, period. So A, he's gonna be a captain of his team. He's playing for the Arizona Coyotes, and at the time they had Shane Doan in his last year. and. There's pretty much with so many teams and so many guys that like Crosby and Malkin are almost always in. So that's two. You don't get so many goals in an all-star game. They wanted to reserve to almost one guy per team. Shane Doan's last year. Arizona wants him in there. The NHL kind of wants him in there. But here's John Scott, who, as you mentioned before, is team-wise, he didn't have a goal this year. And as much of it was a cult following and it was huge, the league was, I don't want to say against it, but not completely for it. And... Go ahead, John. Sorry, I'm responding to people here. Don't – no, just – and you don't have to move closer. Oh, you know what? Go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, what was the question? I – um, so I, I, I went to the All-Star game, and then – Well, sorry. no, 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 no. Talk about how they didn't want you to go to the All-Star game. Oh, okay. So it was funny. Hold on. I just want to just – Real funny, John. One more. Just, I can't, hey, Rick Crusher. I can't you get You know what, though? The more I see this, I have okay. a broken tooth. <clears throat> Sheldon Surrey <clears throat> cross-checked me in the face and broke my tooth. That's that one there, and it's getting yellow, and it's crooked. I should have punched Sheldon. It's just too big and too strong and too No, big no. He is a guy who I played against. He, I would give him some You're room. You're getting away from the subject. Go back to the subject. I would give him a little more room. Uh, yeah, okay. So ah, let's talk ah, about This guy said, we all know John is more remembered as a have than PJ. <laughs> but we like PJ more. You no. Reading. 
I don't know how to read French. It, it says corn. Yeah, exactly. Can you just corn. tell the how did how break it down? <laughs> they did not want you to go. Um, my least favorite team. Okay, so I was with Arizona at the time, and they obviously we were past it, was a, that. it was the new format. So it was three on three. Yes. Right, and they wanted speed. And I was on Arizona, so every week, literally, it was like a month and a half voting process where you might have pink eye. Um, you could use a mint. <laughs> they just got it from you. So every week, I, w I would talk to my GM. We'd have this little meeting and say, say oh, hey, so how you feeling? How's it going? You, you really want to go? You really want to go? I was like, yeah, you know, it's fun. The next week, they're like, well, the league doesn't really, you know, think it's good, this and that. Would you not go if they offered you a vacation? You could go anywhere in the world with you and your family. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm fine. I, I still want to go. And then the next week, it was like, well, what about a vacation and some money? And I was like, well, you know, I think I'll still go. Then the week after that, it was like, well, what if it's a vacation and money? And then, you know, you can go to the All-Star game. You just don't play. You could be a coach or something. And I was like, ah, you know, no, no. And then that's, that's when I got traded the week after. I got a call from my GM. He said, hey, let's talk. It was a game day. And we were just kind of getting ready for pregame skate. He's like, let's talk. And he's like, we traded you to Montreal. I was like, oh, are you kidding me? I, I you know, had some choice words. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, you, you know, it's a hockey move. We really wanted to get Jared Tonorti, a big, tough defenseman. I was like, hello. Like, uh, that's exactly who I am. Like, I'm a defenseman. I'm tough. I'm tough with the Jared Tonorti. So I was surprised. Then he calls me in his office a little bit more. Like, 10 minutes later, 15 minutes later, he pulls me aside. He's like, yeah, you're going to Newfoundland, St. John's, Montreal just sent you down. I was like, are you kidding me? So, oh, my favorite teammate on Thorold was Nathan Keep Horton. Going. Nathan Horton, NHL guy. Um, so I got sent to St. John's, Newfoundland. I went there. I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to make the All-Star game. They're not going to let me go. I was already voted. I was already in. I had gotten my sticks, my gloves. Everything was all set. Um, my, my parents and family were buying plane tickets and everything. And I was just fed up. I was like, whatever. This is bogus. So I go to the uh the rock and matthew schneider calls me he's like hey there's no rule in the rule book saying you can't go so you do technically have the right to go don't you know throw in the towel just yet i'm going to speed it matthew up schneider, by the way, just jump in while you read one of these things uh matthew schneider works for the nhlpa and matthew schneider former great defenseman rangers canadians and i think detroit um Anyways, uh, just he actually works for a PA, so he helps kind of the players in certain moments and stuff like that. My good buddy Rob Zammer is another guy. Yeah, PA takes a lot of flack, but they do a lot of amazing things. So he calls you up and says, John, don't worry. You're in the rock. You can still go to the game. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you're, you can go. Uh, there's nothing that says you can't. And at this time, you know, the league and the – always they fight. The union and the league, they're always kind of angling and stuff. We can use this for us. Like, let's try to, you know – I don't want to say like bend the league over a little bit, but like we really want to, you know, make them pay for this because they've been kind of putting you through the ringer and like, let's go. And being so way like, too right. polite to you, by the way. I like your phrasing. Like before you're willing to punch Phil Kessel right down the schnoz. Like you're, yeah. you want, and now a lot of people, I hope in the movie they don't get like the Pink Panther or someone to play you. Like they get someone like with a little bit of edge to, to be Who's like. the Pink Panther? Well, he's a soft pink panther. Like, like you're telling the story. I'm like, they did it on purpose to shove you away so you don't, like, A, they, let me set the people straight. They told John they don't want him there. They want him chained on there. And then they're like, hey, we're going to send you away on a trip for your family. Little did they know there was 15 of them at the, at the Scott house. So, like, that's a lot of tickets. So maybe that's not an option. How about we just send you to, like, a buffet somewhere? And he's like, no, I want more. So, anyways, they ended up. He doesn't ask for more. He just says, no, I want to go to the game. They not only send them, they not only trade him, <laughs> they trade him to the East Coast. So he, so he's no longer part of the West Coast voting. He's now East Coast. And and being part of that, they put him in the minors. So he's like, he's there, and then he's there. So which means there's no way that he could be here. And that's what you're being way too nice about. I can't believe, I'm mad at the Montreal... Scored with them too, no biggie. I actually scored on that. I scored <laughs> against uh, Felix Ponte when he was in Vancouver. No biggie. Anyways, back to my point. They tried to bury you in the rock, and I'm an East Coast guy, so I'm sensitive to any anyone out east because I love the out east. But if you're gonna bury someone in the hockey world, what is the one place you're gonna bury? Them? Montreal. I mean no. Saint John. <laughs> I just teed it up for you. 
Like I just, so, I just teed it up for you. Yeah. So I, I wasn't happy going out there. I, I almost just called it quits. I, I called my wife. I said, listen, I'm not going to go. I'm just going to come home. I was done. I kind of had enough with, with everything. And she's like, no, go like, let's just sort this out. And so I went, I was a little reluctant. I, I flew there, got there. They're like, well, you want to play tomorrow? And I said, no, I think, I think I'm okay. And so I waited a couple of days. I started on the road and you know, I, I'll be honest. I wasn't happy going there. I don't think anybody would be, but it ended up turning out really cool. St. John's was a great spot. I played a lot. It was fun. And, uh, I don't know. It was just neat. I got to be on the power plane stuff and get 25 minutes and just really play. And I ended up going to the all-star game and I won the MVP and that was it. Anyway, so, so is that, is that what you wanted? That's nah, okay. I'll just tell it anyways. I look, I look, my hair looks great tonight. Um, so one of my teammates is on here, Brent Lerno. I thought it was learn out. Is it learn out? It might be, but I, yeah. Um, you keep or... reading names. I'll tell the rest of the story. He so, plays for the Habs now. So Johnny gets called up. Uh, we got a guy on the Montreal Canadiens watching this interview. Well, yeah, no kidding. They saw the jersey and they knew I Showtime. scored for them. It's like, and I scored against them in the playoffs. Wrap around against Theodore. Breeze Blog went like this way. I went like that way. Go YouTube that goal tonight. Anyways, no, no. Let me finish the story because I'm not done with this. Sly you, was good. I, I you, don't think he knew his hockey that great, Sly. Like he was. The only issue I had with Montreal is they just hired too many French guys. And I think that's their downfall. They're so stuck on this French thing where everybody has to be a, a francophone. It's like you're missing out on a ton of people who know what they're doing. It's like you can't just keep hiring – what's his name? Jacques Lemaire or uh, what's his name who's there now like every three years. You got to mix it up. You need a guy who speaks English predominantly. Who's their coach now? Their coach right now is Claude Julien. So, Nick, how many times has he coached that team? This is like his fifth time. Second. The yeah. last three coaches are all in their second time. Yeah. Mix it up a little bit. Like, get some fresh blood in there. It, it, you, can, can I go back? I'm trying to set up your story. You what's know, the what's definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again. And expecting and a different expecting outcome. a different result. It's just they're just beating their head against the wall. Get You're speaking to the players. wrong guy. This is what I – I'm in Montreal all the time. Like, Mark Bergevin. He should have been fired five years ago when he traded for me. That's okay. Now we're going somewhere. <laughs> this is what I do. You're sitting on my leather couch. This yes. is what's going on. So yeah. amen. Amen from Bruno Gervais. Bruno Gervais, the greatest defenseman in Island history. No, Brett Lerno should be in the NHL right now. Well, so is Bruno, left. but Bruno's actually doing figure skating. Jags has asked me this question five times now. Any tips for young hockey defensemen? Um, no. Like, it, the game's changed so much since I was a kid. I, I used to work on high and hard and changing it up, honestly. Get the puck out, hit the glass, and then off we go. The game has changed so much. Work on your toe drags. Work on your celebrations. I don't know. Like, that's what kids do nowadays. The, the hockey, the fundamentals of hockey are gone. They're, they're Wait, completely Can we go back to the story? What story? I don't. No one wants to hear about the All Star story. Honestly, they, is there a been, movie coming? Is there a movie coming out about it? It's been beat to death. John, you're the man. Missed you by three or four games. Um, wasn't in Allentown when all this happened. Happy I don't have to go yet. Who is Derek Mathers and what is Allentown? But he spent. He actually spelt. Um, they actually spelt you're wrong. That's a pet peeve of mine. You're. It's you are. Yeah. You would. Y o u apostrophe r e. You seem like one of those guys. I just, I'm just saying, I'm not a, didn't go to your school, but. That seems like a typical, yeah, St. FX grammar. That's all they teach. That's, that's one year. Your is Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, everybody. That's you are. What? That's for you are. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What's the uh, biggest. Um... Anyways, hold on. Can I go back? Bruce Lee, I think it's the rookie party. I so want to go back to the story. The rookie I'm party right in the now. NHL. When you when you were a rookie, you have to take the whole team out. And I don't know if you talked about this, PJ, but you, the team sets up a dinner. You go, they order obscene amounts of wine and beers and food and everything and everything. And at the end of the at the end of the meal, they slide the check to the rookies, and you have to to pay for it. And so I think my share was I think we had five rookies. My share was like seven grand. So the the bill total bill was like 
30 grand and we left him a five grand tip. So that was the biggest tap. Um, are you moving closer to the camera? No, I don't know. Like, I don't have the lights set up like you do. I just, I don't know. I sober coach, get off this. Just get off this. Yeah, I know. Just the complimenting you too much. Like, get off this. And and fathead photo was a buddy of mine getting on these things, and they're just being idiots. So just this is the problem with these stupid things, right? These guys can get on and just yammer, and it says, "Oh wow, wow, yeah, a little." Do I got to? How do I? Can I just turn them right off? Like fathead photo and I is a buddy named Mark Starnino. Actually, I should put a picture up about Mark is what I should do. And so you, everyone knows what I'm talking about. He's trying to yell at me for who the Canadian should be signing. And this is what I do. And he's trying to tell me who, who they should be signing. So should they bring back Domi? Um, this is the problem. He's an RFA. What does he want? And how long are they willing to? Like, I give him like a, again, he's already has like a little in-betweener contract, his two-year deal. Um, but I don't think after last year, they should sign for anything long term. He, t uh, two years ago, he had seventy points. They have there has been a player that's been able to do that in in too long. So you look around who they do have. Who else could get seventy? And I don't know who can. My problem is he's is, he's inconsistent, but he's on no contract. Jonathan Dwayne is inconsistent. There's a lot, and they're all five ten or smaller. And you, we can make the height joke here, but they need to get bigger. And I think that's why the Joel Edmondson signing on the back end makes them bigger. But the problem is still up front, they're too small. That's kind of my my argument. And can you seriously we see your nose down. That's what are you, oh, you're looking up my nose? Well, I can see up your nose. Are we gonna just end this at all? Like I wanna just hear the at the end of the day, who's playing you in the movie? Right now, I think they've been talking to Hugh Jackman. So we'll see that was, I, and I stay out of it as much as I can. So this is, gosh, this was like a month ago. So I don't know. Things change. What Sorry, about me? I, I, why am I so, can you hear me from back here? That's better. Oh yeah, totally. I just feel like I'm more effective when I'm, I don't know why. <laughs> I went closer and you told me I had pink eye. I was going to make a bunch of things about you, but you're going to bring up an all-star thing on me. So I have you Sorry. everywhere. Do you know your five goalies you scored on? No. One was an empty netter. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see this movie. <laughs> I can't wait. Hugh Jackman doing it, the empty netter. Uh, oh, my God. No, I had uh, – let's see. My first one was on Cam Ward. Then I scored on uh, Bernier. And yeah. then I scored on um, – I honestly don't know. Oh, Holpe. That was my highlight reel goal in San Jose. Google that one. Uh, David Buchanan just said Liv Schreiber. Schreiber, is that it? Schreiber, is that how you say it? Liv Schreiber, he's, yeah. He was in, uh, he's not bad. We but look similar. We both have a wide kind of chubby face. Yeah, but, but you look good. You look more athletic. Yes, he was. He was the, he was opposite of the goon, but yes, exactly. He's done, he's, he uh, was in goon. He was Ross the boss. Ross the boss. Nice. Yeah. So I just, I don't think you can kind of separate him from that and then play me, but I, Ideally, my perfect scenario, I like we've talked to Will Forte and he wanted to do it, but they wanted a bigger name. I like Will Forte. I thought I thought he'd be a great pick, but they wanted someone bigger. So, you know, a lot of those it's Disney, right? Or do we know who it is? I haven't said it is Disney. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. You should be proud. Yeah, it's, it's it'll be cool. It'll no, be, I, do I? I never went top shelf on Burl Door. I wish. I wish. Who was the I, most famous goalie? I went you top on? shelf on Boder. That guy, Jeff Malowski, is brilliant. Brilliant. He's brilliant. I'm like that star guy. Brilliant but, how? Yeah. And how am how am I gonna be in the movie? Like not, will this will this be in the movie? No, no, you're not allowed. You're not in the movie. Like maybe I can play you. You talk in way too much. You're too you're too high strung. I I'm not high strung. You wanna say this is not high strung. I'm not high strung. Wait, wait, what are you talking about? I'm not high strung. I so you want like maybe if I just like like, wake up, wake up in the morning, I'm a little, like, like slower, like this, you want? Yeah, That's I'm what I drunk. want. I'm you've drunk. had, like, you've had, like, four or five tequilas, and you're still just high strung. I've had, this is actually my second, actually. It's my, actually, second. I had to wait to go on air with you. That, the problem <laughs> is, I mumble, I mumble daily.
all day, all my words. So if I drink and try and do anything like this, like I can never go on TV ever or radio after having a drink because I mumble in general. Yeah. So, so those charity events, do you try not to drink before like the draft and everything? Or uh, Those charity events are, they're just tough. And there's a lot of, actually, here's a, here's a nice moment. There's a lot of charities out there that we can't go to and help raise a lot of funds for. So anyway, people at home can help raise, donate even two bucks. If everyone donates two bucks. It, it all accumulates over time. It's a tough time because a lot of the charity, like golf tournaments, uh, we do hockey events. John just goes there and talks about his all-star game. Um, we go on the ice and score. Uh, and yeah, we're it, so it helps raise a lot of money, and it's good for the community. We haven't been able to do that. Uh, and now he's, texting, <laughs> now he's texting his mom. Are you done? No. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. That's good stuff. Well, hopefully we can get to a charity event soon. I don't think it's going to happen. Not anytime soon. That's not it. Michigan. Not Michigan, man. No. I'm not going to be able to go to Canada for another year. Brutal. So we're not filming in Toronto, the movie then? We're filming it in probably California. That's going to be expensive. I'm not paying for it. There's fires going on there, just so you know. I did hear about that. Yeah. I and did hear about that craziness going on out there as well um i don't even know where to go because you didn't answer one question that i was trying to get you to answer this is the best interview you've probably had though what i've no. learned is with my podcast it's so much better when you just shoot the breeze and you don't like sit there and pepper him with questions so i maybe scored I'm, on I'm rudy cujo mark Denis, broder and felix pod thing imagine if uh, imagine if they had that voting when i was in the league how many All-Star MVPs do you think I would have had? They did have it when you were in the league. Didn't they have Fitzpatrick from Vancouver almost? No, I was done. I was done by then. I got hurt at 28. I got a stick in my eye. That's why my eye twitches a little and it's yellow. So your short three, three, right. your three year career. Hey, How many, still scored five. Yeah. Yeah. Would you rather score five goals in three years or five goals over nine years? Do the math. Carry the one. Give me a second. What are we doing here? This is great. This is great stuff. I'm, I'm breaking it down. Okay. I'm trying to think what my money would be three over five versus three over nine. What do you mean three over five? Five goals in three years. Yeah. Or five goals in nine. Like if I'm, if I'm, if I'm like lighting a lamp, like maybe two goals a year, it ups my pay. Like, I, it could be could have been big bucks. See, you guys are missing – like, if you only play three years, you only make three years' worth of money. You guys, you're just dro- missing the point. But it could be point. big bucks, though. But that, I didn't say you're going to get another contract. I said, what would you rather have? PJ, go to bed. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. It was seven years, by the way. You played seven. Seven. Four, four in the AHL and three in the NHL. Good for oh, you. Oh, are we bringing up all the numbers? Do you want, we can do the number game because I did your numbers today. Oh, and I have them actually right here. Let's we do can it. do all the numbers right here. Okay. The only problem is I don't have an All Star MVP trophy. That's that's but, troublesome. That's the only. That's why I'm trying to stay away from the number game. Yeah, you don't want to do that. All right. What, what's coming up with you guys? What do you got going now moving forward? You have to guys. How many girls? What's your school? What's your record in fights? I don't know. I never win. That's that's a problem as well. I just you show up. Just get there. The fans clap. I that's, lost two. I lost two, but they were very convincing losses. Where I got one punched by Justin Johnson. I didn't know he was a lefty, and then Colt Nora right, got me right in the stomach. The other, yeah. I think, I think I fought seventy times. The other sixty-eight, I think I won. So yeah, I I don't know. Rob Ray landed a lucky 17 rights in a row. He does that. Um, was, he, was he like totally top off and everything? Yeah, no arm. No <laughs> arm to hold on to. And, uh, and I, he broke my face. So, 
I think he was on steroids. There was a lot of guys back then who I think were on steroids. And I'm friends with Rob Ray, and I've told him this. I, he'll never admit to it. But there, I would have to say when you played, three-quarters of the guys were probably on steroids. No, not three-quarters of the guys. I would say – Half? I would uh, – fourth liners? How about that? Yeah. No one in the top three lines. No, I'm, t- I'm talking strictly fighters. Yeah, I, I, would, I would say 60 60- – that's a big number. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I really can't know. But I, it, there was quite a few. Like, I know when we went to do our physical testing, right? And we had the, 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 the test was um, do a number you can do 10 times. Hopefully, that's your your highest, you know? So, I'm the fourth line tough guy. Not tough guy, but you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm, the, yes. I'm not going to forwards or whatever, but I did uh, 240 for 10 times. Um, this bench, was, bench press. Bench press, which was my best. That's incredible. Yeah, but that's all I did, right? We had four guys on the team do 300 pounds. That's insane. 300 pounds for 10. That's, that's like um, world's strongest man territory. That's, like a, that's really, really strong. Yeah. So I won't say their names, but it's been like, I, I don't, yeah whatever it is what it, what it kind of is yeah but. when I, I i went to college so did you and weightlifting was huge olympic weightlifting we, right. we would do our testing and you would have to bench your body weight and so i was six eight two fifty five and just a string bean i in all four years i did it once my senior year because i literally bounced that bar boom, boom, off my chest and racked it and got up and walked away and your arms are no about chest. three feet long too though Zero chest at all, like none. I, I yeah. still, I could probably bench like one fifty five eight times right now. I just, there's no, well, there's no power, no power. It's just, yeah. But for the movie, do you think they're gonna get a guy that's jacked or a guy that's not so jacked? Uh, I don't care. I don't you, know. I have no preference. You do. What's gonna come out of the movie? Like you're gonna, you're gonna have to walk on the red carpet for the, for the, uh, what a premiere preview, whatever it is. Like you're gonna walk down. It's gonna be like, you gotta be like somewhat. You know? No, I don't know. I need to be jacked? Well, you can't have someone be, like, super jacked playing you and then you not being super jacked. Like, it's got to be somewhere in the middle, right? The good thing for about being tall is it doesn't matter how – like, I'm, I'm going to look bigger no matter what. Like, I, I stood next to Jason Momoa, and I look bigger than he does. You know what I mean? Aquaman. So it's just, like, I'm just tall. Like, I, I don't know. I don't have to – So I got to prove anything. Question. Is is he really good looking? Yeah, handsome. handsome. <sighs> Everyone. I saw, him, my... I saw him in St. John's when I was when I just got there. He was there at the at the restaurant we used to go to, Green Sleeves. And I'm like, who is that guy? And he was filming. Um, what's the show they did? Aquaman. Yeah. Or a no. show. Oh, it was the um, dragon. Come on, first guy to give it to us. What was uh, what were they filming in St. John's? Vince Vaughn, maybe Rolston. That's it. It was called maybe Rolston. No, no, no one knows. No one's even listening. They're just talking to each other on there. I know. I know. It was like uh, the dragon swords. Game of Thrones. That's it. Game of Thrones. Thing. Nailed it. They filmed it out there. They, they did. They did. So he was there. He was around. That's but. funny. I just got a text right here. It said Game of Thrones as well. All right. So I really got no answer out from you. I had my buddies yelling at me, trying to like stand up for you. Um, When's the movie coming out? I don't know. Where can we hear the podcast? Apple, Spotify, anywhere. It's it's it is the second or third popular hockey podcast out there. It's called Dropping the Gloves with John Scott. Book. Where do we get the book? Books. Terrible. Guy like me fight to make don't, the cut. Where do you get the don't book? Don't bother. Don't bother with the book. It's brutal. You don't like the book? I don't make any money off of it unless I do a book signing. So whatever. I don't care. So podcast. Go go listen to my podcast. That's fine. Are you funnier on the podcast than on like mine? Much better. Well, on my podcast, the interviewer is really really talented. I think that what makes a show go is the person who's kind of leading the interview. This one struggles. Yeah. Can I go get more tequila then? You're like, more than welcome. I've had one last an hour for crying out loud. One. I was thinking I was going to take a break. They come down. He talked about the movie for a while. We'd go on, we'd pop it, it'd be awesome. I'm gonna be in it. Someone would play me, we'd discuss who it's gonna be, and it came at you fast, didn't it? 
Yeah. It's tough. It's tough. Question. When you guys go to dinner and there's six of you, eight with the wife, uh, thank yes. you, Mrs. Scott, for letting me do this. Uh, small bus or minivan? Extended I just minivan. got, I just, it's funny. I just crashed our van this morning. Seriously? I, I nailed a deer. Just absolutely destroyed a deer. I was on my way to church and I just, it came out of nowhere and I just de demolished the van. I'll show you a picture of it. Can you see this? Uh, Oh, yeah. And for animal lovers, I apologize. That was all John Scott. Uh, yeah. So the I deer. If I, I almost. I, I, have you ever seen that movie with? Uh, gosh, I'm not going to go down that road. But uh, yeah, sure. nailed the deer, and then I got my other car, and then I ran out of gas this morning in my other car, so I had to run and get the jerry can and fill it up. It was just a heck of a morning this morning. It was just. <laughs> who runs out of gas these days? Is Big sign that tells you where it goes. I don't know. Thanks it's for just... doing this part. Do you want to hey, give them? How about you got two minutes to read through some of these texts? Why do I have two minutes? Is there a time limit? Well, yeah, it runs out after an hour. We've been That's on for fun. an hour. We're on. We've been on for fifty-one minutes already. It just flies by. No, it, it hasn't flown by. I've had one drink. Normally, I yell at a kid to bring me a drink, like one. But I've been trying to like bring this thing back. It's like hurting cats. Me hurting cats. Oh my goodness! Any does anybody have a question? I love you, John from Philip Collard, twenty-three. Yeah, Scott Stevens on steroids. I would say yeah. No, don't say that. <laughs> no, we're not saying that. John is saying that because he's six eight and <laughs> nine tenths. No, <laughs> toughest opponent for John to fight. I didn't like fighting Cam Jansen. He was short. I just liked fighting guys who were tall so we could trade. That like. My, I like fighting Frazier McLaren, and George Peros, those guys, Matt Karkner. We just like to trade. That, that's what I really enjoy doing. So, no, the windows are not in yet. Who is this guy? I got to get them done. I got four more windows to put in. Favorite ice cream, chocolate. Uh, and, yes, PJ was on steroids. I know. Favorite NHL no, no, moment. No. Ster Stevens was. What did I say? So of course, PJ was. I got offered when I made the AHL. I had a couple of guys who were tough guys on my team, and they said, if you go on a couple cycles, you'll really boost your chances of making the NHL. I turned them down, obviously, but, yeah, it was wild. I was like, welcome to the, the pros. Uh, JRM, 1974, this guy's beautiful. Was you ever, were you ever scared to fight someone? Oh, yeah, constantly. constantly. Who? I would say for my first four years, I was terrified. Then my wife, I was lying in bed watching HockeyFights.com. And she goes, what are you doing? It was like three in the morning. I'm like, I got to fight. Um, I think it was Brian McGratton the next night. I'm like, I'm playing McGratton. I'm losing my mind. I'm watching how he fights. And she's like, well, how big is he? I was like, oh, he's 6'5", 250. She's like, how big are you? I'm like, ah, 6'8", 275. And she's like, go to bed. You don't think he's scared of you? I was like, you know what? He probably is. And I just kind of put my phone down and slept like a baby. And I, something just clicked. You know what I mean? I was like, all right. I guess these guys are scared of me too. I, this uh, work. Favorite Blackhawks Black teammate. teammate. Brian Bickle, my, my Bixie boy. Love that guy. You Brian know him? Bickle. Yeah. Favorite wrestler from David Buchanan? Favorite wrestler? I think the Ultimate Warrior was my favorite yeah. one. And then Jake I, the Snake. I don't know any new guys. I haven't watched. No. I used to be really big into wrestling in high school, but then I grew up. So it happens. Favorite player growing up? This is from McMahon, Tim McMahon. Ray Bork. I was a big Bruins fan. Ray Bork, which is appropriate because the Bruins hate me. After what I did to Louis Erickson and then Sean Thornton. Favorite fight from Martin, um, Martin favorite Renaud fight, Dink? Probably Sean Thornton because I played for the Sabres and they, the Bruins always bullied the Sabres. And I went into the Boston Garden and then before the game, I said, I'm going to beat up Lucic, Thornton, and Chara. And I knocked out Thornton in the first period. And I turned around and I pointed to Chara and I said, you're two. And then I looked for Lucic and I said, you're three. And those guys wouldn't fight me after that. But it was just – it set the tone for the whole year, and we dominated those guys after that. Crusher Rick, favorite coach? Um, Joel Quinville or Teddy Nolan. Teddy Nolan? Yeah. Should he be back in the NHL? Um, no. Yeah, I don't know. Like, he, he's a good coach. I don't think he, he's as systems-oriented as they are now. He's more right. of a passion guy. So, it, he's not an X and O's guy at all. Like, he played me on the third line for the whole, like, better part of the year. That's how, you know. Best captain you played for? Johnny Taves or Joe Thornton. Joe wasn't the captain, which was a shame, but 
Probably Jonathan Taves. I think yeah. I play with Joe as captain. I think Joe's better not as the captain. Uh, yeah. and, and I love Joe. I, I think Joe, once you take him out of the cap, he can just be Joe. He can just be Joe actor. I think too yeah. much comes sometimes with the responsibility of in a hockey town too. Yeah. So, Bruce Lee, uh, worst and worst NHL trash talker. Let's do best. We have like two minutes left. Worst and worst NHL trash talker. Yeah. Um, worst, but worst. That's what he meant. I don't know. Steve Ott was pretty bad. I played Steve with him. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty bad. <laughs> Would you go with Ryan Reeves? I fought Ryan Reeves, and I he kind of ducked, and I fell over myself. Um, best city to eat in? Vancouver. Loved loved the sushi in Vancouver. Sushi in oh. Vancouver. And then Nashville had good barbecue. Wherever I would go, I'd always try to find, like, a nice local spot. I wouldn't just go to, like, let's go to Morton's or, like, Ocean Prime. I would try to find a local spot, and I would go on Yelp and try to do some research. So, Because if, if you don't play, you have that whole afternoon. I'd go get myself a lunch. I'd maybe go see a movie. I'd, I'd have a day. You know what I mean? What's going on? Michael Layton, Bernier, Holt. By the way, Michael Layton was your first goalie. Holt, B, Taylor, and an empty net. So I really thought it was Cam Ward. <laughs> Jonas no. Hiller? Who's Hiller? Jonas Hiller, Anaheim. Played in Anaheim. I do not remember that goal. Yeah. No, Calgary. Calgary. Played in Calgary. Calgary. Who's winning the cup this year? That's going to be Dallas. Booyah. This is our last one. Uh, yeah, well, they look good. They, they have – if they can get the, their superstars to play defense and have a good goalie and probably one of the best young defensemen in the league, um, they can be pop, and that's what I'm counting Klinberg. Um, and their big guys can score better than most teams can. It's going to be pretty impressive. All right, Johnny, thanks for telling me about the guitar. You can keep reading them. Everyone, please text John. You can just go text John. The rest of the answers that you guys wanted, uh, just DM him. I'm going, to, I'm going to put his cell phone number up when we're done, so you guys can all just text John. Are you responding this, to them? This is my wife's phone right now, so... You can text her. You're sending hearts. <laughs> How do you do that? Hearts. Look at all hearts. Someone's sending hearts. This is the most listeners you've ever had on your little stock talk. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's great. My mom's listening. Come on, say hi to my mom. Hi, Tadros21. Yes, that's not my mom. No, thought it was. Sorry. Yeah, no. All right, buddy. You're the best. Be good. Bye, PJ. And hey, thanks for the comments, except for Sober Coach and Fathead Photo which is Bobby and uh, Stark. Johnny? How do I exit out of here? You just press the big X. I'm going to press N. You don't worry. Put your head closer. Get your head closer. 